we must maintain our physical distancing. Workplaces such as we high, public transport, all of these systems uh, have developed ways of people keeping their distance. And in particular, respect our seniors. Our seniors are our most vulnerable. Around the world, they are those that are most vulnerable. And giving them the space and the distance, continuing to respect uh, the hand hygiene, uh, the physical distance, downloading the COVID Safe app, these are the three things that will help us emerge cautiously but with confidence. That then brings me to our capacity. And uh, I'm really pleased that we are now down to 20 cases within our hospitals, three still in ICU and one on ventilation, but only one case on ventilation. And this was at a time when some had thought we would have run out of ventilator capacity in Australia. Instead, we've built that capacity to over 7,500, but one known patient on the advice that I have this morning under ventilation. And we care for them, we focus on them, but we hope for them. And uh, this has been an Australian achievement. So I want to acknowledge what all Australians have done together in getting us to where we are. But going forwards, one of the things that we must do is provide the research for vaccines, for antivirals, for respiratory medicine, and uh, I'm delighted as part of that to announce $66 million. Uh, that includes approximately $19 million for vaccines with $5 million going to the University of Queensland uh, for their molecular clamp technology, one of the world's leading vaccine projects uh, in relation to coronavirus uh, prevention. Uh, we are also supporting nine projects um, around the country for antiviral medicines. And here at Weihai, there are two. Uh, Professor David Commander, his work on uh, the uh, immune response, turning back the immune system, allowing the immune system to come back is backed by a million dollars. Uh, the work in particular uh, of uh, Professor Wei Hong, uh, her work uh, in allowing blockades to be put uh, by the body's uh, natural immunity system by using antibodies to prevent uh, the virus from reaching its targets. That's being supported with almost $2 million. Around the country, we also have vital respiratory medicine, and those uh, seven clinical trials include the University of New South Wales at $1.5 million for their work on clinical trials repurposing existing, uh, existing medicines. These are actions that can save lives and prevent lives. They're Australian researchers, Australian universities, Australian, Australian institutes helping to lead the world, helping to save lives. And uh, Doug, I want to say thank you to you. I uh, invite you to, to say a few words and say that uh, Australia is blessed with the way our population has responded, but we're equally blessed with the way our extraordinary researchers have responded.